Yum, yum! Hey guys, Ryan Ernst with Pixel Fondue here. Today we're going to be making this tuck box. It's a piece of simple geometry that I keep in my default scene because it's easy to manipulate to create lots of different kinds of packaging. I find it's a great model to have when starting new packaging projects. It can easily be manipulated for folding and unfolding and you can create lots of different types of packaging from it. It's also going to unwrap very cleanly, just like a die line. Alright guys, let's get started. Start by adding a cube to your scene. Make sure it's on the zero world position and make it 10 centimeters square. Make sure it has one segment on the Y and drop your tool. Activate your symmetry. Using Alt, switch it over to Y. When you select the top, the bottom should select and vice versa. Drag up your top to create a longer box. Then delete the top. Grab all of your top edges and using the loop slice command, add a count of two with the mode set to symmetric. Drag so that it's close to your edges and drop. Select the front and side edges but not the back and use Z to extend your edges up just a little bit. Deselect your front, use Z again, and if you don't have your scale uh, activated, hit E. That'll activate your scale on your edge shift. Drag in a little bit, hit shift, drag in a little bit more, and then shrink it on the Z. Hit shift again, shrink it on the X again. So you get a nice little stair step. Grab those two edges that you just created, go up to vertex map, weight tool, and set it to 100%. You should have that weight tool mapped to some sort of key binding by the way. I've got a small pie menu that does it. Adding that will mean that your edges stay hard when your mesh is smooth and you get to keep the definition of your notch. Select the top edge on the front panel move it up just a little bit so you don't have any polys that fight over the same space hit Z and shift the edge over to the back of the packaging you want it to go just past the last edge on the side flaps hit shift to reactivate your tool and drag it down just a little bit and then shift again and drag down again you can switch over to wireframe mode if you want to see what you're doing to make your taper that's a pretty good flap. I'm going to switch back over to default and drop my tool. Select the side edge on the top flap and using loop slice add one loop. Turn off symmetry. Grab just your top loop and using the move tool move it up a little bit. Then use B to bevel it down so that it looks like there's a little bit of tension. Reactivate your symmetry and select the front and back fold lines of your top flap. Use the B key to bevel it down a little bit. Then select the side fold and bevel those just a little bit. I'm going to turn the round level down to 1. Move to the back panel and add a loop next to the far right loop on the edge. Now select the top polygon of the strip of polygons that you just created and delete them. Grab the next polygon over in line that creates your corner and move it back just a little bit so that you don't get any poly fighting. Now select the edge that on the side of that flap that you've just made and use your Z key to pull that uh, edge over. Taper this one too. Looks good. In your UV edit tab, select your polygons and hit unwrap. It should unwrap perfectly every time. Thanks for watching guys. Move to the...